Hello everyone, it's Miss Mayorga again. This is the last part of lesson 12. I'm sorry I could not fit it into two videos. I didn't expect it to be this long, um, but uh, this is it. All right, so let's get into bubble nine or level nine and see what we have to do. Fish animation. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm a little zoomed in here. Fish animation. Using the counter pattern, make all three of the fish move as in the image to the right. The blue fish should move the fastest and the green fish should move the slowest. So right now, they already moved the orange fish for us, right? And our task is going to be to add some coding blocks to move the blue and the green fish, All right? So let's check it out. Orange fish, that's what we see going on at the top. Uh, and then we need to move the blue and the green. Now, don't worry if your fish are not in the exact same order or position as it's shown in the picture, because <clears throat> what's happening is that the computer is choosing a random number. If you take a look at the code, the computer is choosing a random number for the Y coordinate. So sometimes your blue fish or green fish or orange fish might be a little bit higher or lower. Um, it's not going to be in the same position each time. But as long as the blue fish is moving the fastest and the green fish is moving the slowest and they're all moving to the left then you have finished the the level okay so updating our values orange fish is already complete notice which property are they changing and are they using addition or subtraction they're changing the x property remember x has to do with moving left or right and since we want to move to the left, we need to use subtraction. So you're going to do pretty much the same thing for your blue and your green fish, but it's going to be up to you to decide what value you're subtracting. All right. So go ahead and grab a sprite, um, sprite block. You're going to need one for your blue fish and you're going to need one for your green fish, right? Uh, blue fish dot x green fish dot x and I'm not gonna walk you through the rest of this um, because it's this is an opportunity for you to show me if you're in my class um, how to uh, make the sprites move All right but again think about those questions and honestly you're pretty much just copying what they did for the orange fish and you just have to change the value that you would use here right subtracting two is moving it oh the computer is giving me an error hold on right remember that that value changes how fast it moves so if we subtract two how can we make this move faster subtract the bigger number subtract five how can we make it move slower subtract the smaller number one will move very slow you could i think you could even use decimals let me double check yeah, you could use decibels, uh, 1.5, right? So you get the idea of how to make your fish move a little bit slower or a little bit faster. Putting it back to the original, which was two. Um, and I'm gonna bring back the blocks that we had added. Sprite.x, Sprite.x, right? So we need to do the same thing for blue fish and do the same thing for green fish, All right? What? Block needs to go here, plus or subtraction, hint, hint, and then you just need to pick a value that you're subtracting for each of these, right? Remember, in the end, you want your blue fish to move the fastest and your green fish to move the slowest, right? So think about what values are going to achieve that. All right, hopefully that made sense. Um, and if not, you can always message me uh, on Schoology or talk to me in class with any questions that you might have. Okay, that's it for lesson 12. Finally, I will see you all in class or in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.